Hello world and welcome to another machine learning tutorial. Today we will cover the topic random forest regressor. My name is Harris and let's get started. So if you like this tutorial, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. I would be really happy about it. So what is a random forest? Random forests are a lot of decision trees. You can imagine that like a voting. In this case, we have two decision trees. The blue is representing the branches and the green is the leaf of the decision tree. At the end of the day, the decision will be made by the sum of the voting. If you, for example, have three decision trees, two decision trees will say yes and one no, so the result will be yes. We can use it in regression or classification. So there are two different types. Regression we will use later on for predicting stock prices. You can use it, for example, in continuous data or time series. Classification you, you can use basically if you have a data set from patients, for example, like cancer cells, or if you have diabetes data, then you can predict if a patient will have diabetes or not. The advantages. You can use the random forest for regression as well as classification. It will handle missing data and maintain the accuracy. It's easy to implement and will not have overfitting because it has n different type of decision trees. That's for it will reduce the overfitting. It's also applicable for a huge data set. So let's get started with the Python code. I will start Jupyter and we can check the code. So first of all, I'm using NumPy for all the arrays and the matrix that we will have. Matplotlib for plotting the result, pandas for manipulating the data, or we are using here CSV file, Seaborn for plotting everything nicely as well. I was dividing the Tesla stock prices into a training and a testing set. Training set will be 70%, testing will be 30%. And I was dividing that and check the preview. So the data, I basically made it in an integer value to make it super easy. So we are not using this time real dates. We are trying to predict the closing price and the next step, we are going to choose the model. We choose the random forest regressor, where here you can have a lot of parameters like estimator, minimal leaf, etc. There are a lot of parameters to adjust your model to make it more accurate. Afterwards, we're going to, to fit the training data and we are going to predict the testing data to see how accurate our model is. Therefore, I was plotting a graph to see the Tesla stock prices for 2015 to today. The red line will, is basically the training data. The green line is the test data with a huge peak at the end of 2019. The prediction, it's the blue graph where you can see it's, it was predicting that the graph will go down and up. Of course, the peak is not 100%, but you can make the random forest with more parameters, etc. you can ma make it more accurate. So, thanks for watching and hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, I would be really happy about it. So, see you soon.